Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Last time, we met Vinny and Mr. Wilson, who are about to start a crazy adventure trying to outrun a tsunami that is coming from a volcano that exploded under the ocean. <gasps> are Mr. Wilson and Vinny going to be able to work together on this raft to get out in time? I sure hope so. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. Vinny grabs some extra vine. Let's go. Mr. Wilson and Vinny the Ventana have just began their adventure. They had to escape the island because a giant tsunami is coming. And that tsunami is bringing with it a whole bunch of water that's going to flood the entire island. They must find a safer place fast. Hurry, Mr. Wilson. We got to get going. Get on, get on. Hurry, hurry. Vinny the Ventana was, remember, a little groundhog-like mammal that lived with dinosaurs. And Mr. Wilson, the Spinosaurus, his job was to turn this little raft into a sailboat. All right, Vinny, I need you to tie my feet onto this raft. I don't want to get pushed over in the waves or the wind. We have to make sure that we stay together. Okay, okay. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Vinny the Ventana, with those extra vines that he brought, he started to tie Mr. Wilson's four feet onto the raft. He was very fast. Mr. Wilson couldn't even believe how quickly Vinny was able to tie all these knots around his feet. Eh, it actually made sense because in all those pranks and traps that Vinny had set against Mr. Wilson, yeah, there was a lot of knots to tie, so... I guess he did have a lot of practice there. Wow, Vinny, you're actually pretty good at this, said Mr. Wilson. Oh, yes, I love tying knots. I do it all the time every day. With all the different games I like to play, I tie knots here and there, and usually it's to capture you and, and make you fall over. It's so funny. I, I, mean, I mean, um, thank you. Vinny uh, didn't really know how to control all the words coming out of his mouth. He usually said too much. Mr. Wilson just rolled his eyes and held on strong. There wasn't time to argue or worry about the past. They just had to survive this giant storm. All right, Vinny. I need you to just hold on tight because it's going to get rough. Whoa! This is awesome and terrifying! Oh my goodness! Vinny was holding on as the first big gust of wind howled against Mr. Wilson's giant sail. You see a Spinosaurus's sail over their back usually not made for a sailboat. This might be one of the very first experiences of a Spinosaurus being the sail of a boat. His sail was 25 feet tall, almost as big as a house. Wow! That would be an amazing sail for a boat. Do you think you could go on a sailing adventure with Mr. Wilson's big sail? That would be pretty cool. Who would you bring on your sailing trip? Um, I think it'd be kind of fun to have Vinny on my sailing trip. And I might want to bring some food and, and a snack and, and definitely some water for that sailing adventure. But Vinny and Mr. Wilson, they did not have any time to grab food or water. They had to get off that island as fast as possible. The wind had brought them very far from the island. But that giant wave was quickly catching up to them. All right, Vinny. If you see right over there, that giant wave is getting closer. It's getting closer. Oh, no. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, just hold on. We're going to ride that wave like a surfboard. A surfboard? I've always wanted to do that. That's a great idea. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, uh, it's getting closer. Uh, get ready. Vinny was standing like a surfer on a surfboard. Do you know how to stand like you're on a surfboard? 
Yeah, you put your your two feet a little wider. You spread them out wide, and then you put your arms out and get low. That's exactly what Vinny was doing. Vinny, quit fooling around. You got to hold on. We're about to go hundreds of feet in the air. Hold on. As Vinny grabbed onto Mr. Wilson's leg to hold on, their giant raft went up and over this huge wave. Whoa! This was the very first time in the history of the world that a Spinosaurus and a Ventana had ever gone sailing before. As they zoomed through the ocean, they couldn't believe how fast and far they traveled. Even Mr. Wilson was scared. What felt like an eternity finally came to an end. Vinny and Mr. Wilson had survived the giant wave and they crashed onto a beach. Oh, oh my, oh, oh. Oh, Mr. Wilson, are you okay? Vinny ran over to the side of Mr. Wilson as he was laying down on the beach. Their raft had cracked in half, but they had made it safely to another island. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm okay, but where on earth are we? Vinny ran on top of Mr. Wilson's head and jumped onto his tail. Hey, hey, ow, oh, ah, get down from there. Hold on, I just gotta get a better look, said Vinny. As Vinny looked around, he realized that they were in a brand new place, a very beautiful island full of creatures that had ran away from that big wave. Wow, Mr. Wilson, it looks like we have a new home. There's all kinds of friends here, and, oh boy, it looks like a new place. Oh, no. I don't think any of my friends made it over here. I don't know if I'll be able to make any friends. No one likes to be friends with a grumpy old Spinosaurus. Mr. Wilson was kind of sad because I think his friends might have gotten separated and, and gone to different islands. What are you talking about, Mr. Wilson? Me and you, we're going to be best friends. Oh, boy. I guess you're right, said Mr. Wilson. Wow, what a crazy adventure. Mr. Wilson the Spinosaurus and Vinny the Ventana, I guess, are new friends in a new place. It's so nice to make new friends, even friends that you might not have thought were going to be good friends. I bet Mr. Wilson was not expecting to become a friend of Vinny the Ventana. And that's the end of the story, but the beginning of an amazing adventure for these two new friends. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And wow, Mr. Wilson is a ginormous dinosaur. Did you know that not only was he about 25 feet tall, but he was also 60 feet long? Wow, that is a ginormous dinosaur. Much bigger than Vinny, our little Ventana friend. But it's pretty cool how they were able to work together to escape that crazy volcano tsunami. Well, friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I'll see you next time. Bye.